What's up everybody, Cryptic Coding here and welcome to another video on Collision Detection. This is the third part on how to create your endless runner. It's not like a runner or something, <laughs> but it's kind of it is. It's an endless game. So with a further ado, let's get started. We'll be creating the collisions. So first go to the player of GD and then we need to create a signal. So S-I-G-N-A-L signal and we write on player hit. Now this will run on the player when the player got hit by something. I mean enemy, this is the only other stuff is there. Object in the scene is enemy. So now we'll go to function underscore process because I don't want to run this thing. I mean the collision detection in the uh, physics process because it's not that powerful. I mean not powerful. I mean I cannot say for some reason. Just write it with me. Okay, pass. There you go. So we'll write now in the collision detection part. Uh, we will go check through every single object that we collide. So for i in range, we will use the get slide count get underscore slide count. Okay, next we'll write if get slide collision index of i dot collider dot has method will check for oh sorry has signal will use signal enemy so if it has one we know that we collided with the enemy so yeah we collided with the enemy now what do you need to do we need to emit to the signal so we there's three parts to the signal first part is actually defining Next part is calling, and the third part is what will happen when this thing emits. I mean, when the state signal is called. So we'll write emit. Come on. Oh, there you go. I forgot this thing. So we'll write emit signal on player hit. Okay. Now we'll just remove these two pass call here, and we'll call the player player collisions here. Okay. Now what you need to do is go to the player, click on the con player hit, click on connect. After that, go to player. So we have done it. And now, remove the pass and we'll write Q3. This thing just removes the player, I mean this object, player, to from the scene. So next step we need to add is, <clears throat> is you just need to restart. So how do we do that? We write grid tree. Reload, reload current scene. We reload the current scene. So let's recap. So if you want to just go ahead and run, it should work. No, it will not work. It will work. Yeah, I, I it's up. Okay. So, so let's recap what we wrote. Uh, we created a four i in range get slide count object with if. It means that run this loop when the get slide count returns. So get slide count maybe it will be uh, the number of times we collided. So it will run that, that that amount of time. So if the get slide collision, this is how we get the instance. I mean, which thing this thing collided? I mean, which object this thing got collided? Yeah. So get slide collision index of I because of this. I, I don't know which index it will collide. Next, we have the collider, of course, and has signal enemy. So it will check its script and check if it has signal called enemy or not. If it has, then we need to say on player hit. It means something is hit it and something got hit. So now we need to say it's on player hit emitted. So we do the same thing, like we connected this thing and we'll add that. We, we, re we destroy the player and then we destroy, we Re reload the current scene. You just can, you can just remove this thing. It will work just fine. Yeah, this is basically it. To actually know if it's this enemy, we'll just click, go to the enemy GD and then add a simple signal call enemy and say, hey, this is the enemy we are talking about. So this is basically it, not too much, but it works just fine. So let's run and let's see. And as you can see, Boom, and it works fine. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.